Have you ever opened up a document and you're on the left hand side, your cursor's flashing over here and you want to get into the center over to the right and so you held down the spacebar or you hit the tab key several times for example I'm going to come up here and click on my show hide codes button so you can see exactly what happens when I hold down the spacebar all this coding of spaces gets added or I hit the tab key several times and I'm not quite there on the three inch mark so I gotta delete a space here, a couple of them oh too much so I'll add a few spaces here to me that's just too much coding is going to mess up your document here especially if somebody else comes through and accidentally deletes one of your uh, spaces then you're not sure if you have to add an extra tab or an extra space to get it right on the three inch mark so what I'm going to do is hit the undo button several times here start back at the beginning and I'm going to introduce you to what's called tab stops it means that when I hit the tab key once I can add a little stop sign here somewhere on the horizontal ruler that will automatically with one hit of the key will take me to that stop so I'm going to hit the backspace button by the way if you can't see a horizontal ruler here you're in the wrong view here for this exercise you want to be able to click on your view tab up at the top and make sure you're in print layout because print layout is only one that's going to give you your horizontal and also vertical ruler I'm going to go back to the home tab now what I want to do the premise here is I want to set up three columns over on the left margin I want let's see a column for authors in the center for books and then over to write the total cost so to do that I'm gonna to have to start typing here the author and then of course when I hit the tab key it's only gonna go by default every five spaces there's the first five there's the next five hit tab again there's the next five but again I want to show you the tab stops and they're hiding up here in the left hand corner when you hover over it, it tells you what kind of tab stop it is. Now if you click on it, you can see that I'm toggling through a bunch of little different tab stops. The only three tab stops you want to focus on right now are the left align, center align, and right align. What that means is that I can go ahead and hit the tab key and stop it right at the three inch mark. Now after I go over to the three inch mark, do I want the text when I start typing to align to the left, to the right, or have it centered? for example let's come up here and hover over this and we got a left align tab stop I'm going to come up here under the three inch and click on it and you can see it adds that little symbol I'm going to hit the tab key and boom it shoots right over to uh, the center of the document here now even though it's a left align it doesn't really take effect until I start typing it so if I go ahead and type in now how is it aligning it's aligning keeping the left align the leftmost text here align left align to this tab stop now what I could do is if I made a mistake and I didn't want that I could click on it and you may not be able to see it but you have to be able to eyeball it and click and drag that tab stop off automatically shoots back because remember it's every five spaces there's my little tab code and let's say we want to I'm going to click and toggle to the center stop and let's put that at the three inch mark instead and because I already tabbed once it just automatically dra shoots it right back out and aligns it right in the center of the stop so these tab stops do two things first of all they'll stop your tab dead in its tracks wherever you set it up on this horizontal ruler then after it stops it it wants to align it either in the center of the stop to the uh, right of the stop or to the left of the stop so let's keep going I'm gonna hit the tab key again or you can hit backspace and just put another tab stop over here then hit your tab key it doesn't really matter so let's do this let's do the uh, right align tab stop here there it is it's popping up now I can try to click on this right indent and try to add it but it doesn't add it so I'm going to do a little trick I'm going to come over here out into the ruler just a little ways click on the ruler not let go of the mouse and then I'm going to drag it over to the right so it's right on that right indent okay so it's right where I want it to be at six and a half hit my tab key boom it shoots it right over now why did I choose the right line stop It's because I don't want to keep typing and have my text wrapping around to the next line because that doesn't look like a good column I want to be able to take the rightmost text that I type and line it right up the right line edge here of my document. So this last is going to be cost. And then the cool thing about it is, is that when I hit enter, I don't have to put these tab stops back in again because it remembers it from the previous line up here. So I can just go ahead and keep on going and add in the authors and then just hit tab. And I'm just typing through here really quickly. See how fast that went? Basically, I don't have to hold down the space bar. I don't have to hit the tab key several times. And plus, if I come in here or somebody else and just hits backspace to delete that tab stop, 
well, even if I turn off my codes, that you can tell by up in the horizontal ruler that there's a tab stop. If I just hit the tab key once, that's all I need to do. I don't have to sit here. Let me delete it again. Hit the backspace key. You don't have to sit here and hit the spacebar several times, then hit the tab key, because when I turn my codes back on, what a waste. You just don't need all that coding or all those spaces. You already have one tab stop up here, one tab key. Hit will do the trick and shoot it right over to that stop. Now I'm going to clean it up here. I'm going to turn off my codes and I'm going to select author, hold down the control key so I can do multiple selections here with book and cost and then I'm going to underline them so I can differentiate the, between the title of the columns and the actual data below. Now there's two ways of entering in tab stops up along this horizontal ruler. Just showed you the one which is just visually clicking and putting your tab stops on there. The other way is doing it numerically. Before you do that you probably want to be able to click on a blank line or let's say we want to change the tab stops numerically without actually visually clicking and dragging the tab stop around which by the way you can do you can click and drag it over to the left or over to the right and notice it's not moving the the, uh, the book around because I only selected these last three lines here but what if I click and drag it over here and then I come off and I decide to do all four lines you notice something funky that's happening up in this horizontal ruler you can see that little tab stop is shaded. That means Microsoft Word is telling you that something's not right. It's saying, look, I can't define where your tab stops are for all four lines because one, two, or all of them except one is off. So if you recall, these three lines are all together. When I select three, it's in bold, so that tells me that that's correct, that they're all lined on the same tab stop. And when I click on this one, you can see it jump over to the left. So there you go, before, after, before, <laughs> it's just jumping around. I can click undo to undo this so it's all back. And when I click and drag to see if it's all happy there. So anytime I see a bold tab stop, I know everything's fine with what I've selected below. If it's faded, it means that one of these lines or uh, the majority of them are not lined up with the other lines correctly. So to be able to change this numerically, um, I'm going to go ahead and select all these lines. And then up in the paragraph group on the home tab, I'm going to click its expandable button here. And then down below in the left hand corner, the tabs button and there we have it. These are already set up but now they're shown numerically here at the three inch mark on the horizontal ruler and the six and a half inch mark and you can tell when I select between the two down below it's showing me the alignment. So at the six and a half inch it's my right align tab stop and at the three inch it's the center. What I can do is I can go ahead and add an additional tab stop here let's say at the two inch and then I can say look I want it to be right aligned and then all I have to do is click on the set button and now I've got three tab stops. It's not going to update here until you actually click OK. So when I click OK, look at that, it all gets scrunched over. Why? Because I have one tab to take me from author to book and there's the first tab stop. I have the second tab, well let's click on the show hide codes here so I can reveal them. The second tab takes me from book to the next tab stop but I have no additional tabs that take me from, takes me from the cost all the way over to the the final tab over to the far right. Of course I can hit the tab key, it shoots me right over. So what I want to do is I can either undo this or better yet I can select all of these lines and then just click and drag and remove this tab stop off of it which we already know how to do so I'll go back to my tabs and I can say 2 inch you're no longer there anymore and then click OK and everything's back to normal. Have you ever been in the document where you're looking from the left hand side and you're trying to keep your eye on the same line but you start getting lost and you can't really tell which JRR token if it's fifty five dollars fifty five cents well they have what's called leaders in other words we have tab leaders little dot dot dots that will lead our eyes from JR token over to Lord of the Rings and over to the cost here and keep our eyes on track when we read from left to right of course other people add in the periods dot 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 but that's not as efficient because it starts getting rid of your tab they have what's called tab leaders. So as long as you have your tab set up correctly, you can actually add leaders that will lead your eye from Cletus over to his book, Walk Your Dog. All you have to do is, let's not select author because I don't need dot dot dots from author to book. I just want it for my books down below. So I'll just select those three lines. Again, we're going to go back to the paragraph group, um, expandable dialog box, click on the tabs. I'm going to select the three inch mark here. Everything from the zero over to the three I want to be able to select a leader down here that leads my eye from the left to the right at the three inch. I can either choose the dot dot dots or the dashes or the lines, but I think dot dot dots looks really good. I'm going to click on the set button and click OK and voila. It looks great. In fact, let me turn off the code so we can see that better. That looks nice. 
Let's do a little bit more. Let's go ahead and select these three lines again. And go back to our tabs. Let's say everything over to the six and a half inch we want to be dashes. So I selected my six and a half. I selected dashes for my leaders. I click set and I click OK. I can get two types of leaders. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense and it's annoying, but <laughs> at least you get the point. To remove these leaders is very simple. All you have to do is go back to where you came from. Click on the expandable dialog box, tabs, and you can say at the six inch, I don't want dashes. You can select none, of course, or we can go back to dots so everything's uniformed. Set it, click OK, and everything looks good. Now let's go one step further. You can actually use these tab leaders since we already have our tabs up there. Um, have you ever had a line in a document or a form that you wanted, like maybe somebody's signature? Let me hit enter a couple of times. My tabs stay with me here. And so what you did is you held down the shift key and did this underline here, and then you hit enter and you try to do Kurt or something like that, or you try to do like signature. There's more than one way to skin a rabbit, but I'm going to hit undo here and just go with the tab leaders. After I undo that, I'm going to hit enter a couple of times. And then what I can do is because I already have my tabs set up, I can hit the tab key once and it adds the tab leader for me, except I don't want dot dot dots for people to sign their name on. In fact, let me click up here and hit enter a couple of times so I can move that down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select my leader here and go back to my tab screen. And I want to say for at least this line, for the three inch mark, I want to use the uh, line set it, click OK, and it updates for me. And then I can hit enter underneath and maybe type in. And then all I have to do is decide how I want the signature to be center aligned or left aligned. In fact, if I click before it and hit the tab key, it's by default adding the leaders for me every time you hit tab. But if I don't want the leaders there, then I can hit the backspace, push it back. I can either add another center stop here or make the use of the one I've already got here and then just click it and drag it over and let's do it about the center here and then just hit my tab key. Now it's going to add the leader for me so I may just want to go ahead and select that, go back to my tab window and say for this tab I want none and then set it and click OK and now I've got my signature and my line that people can go ahead and sign above. Of course as you click on each line all the tabs up at the top are consistent until I get down to this line where I actually made use of this tab and moved it over. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.